We have a special connection with farmers. I grew up on a dairy farm near Hot Springs. My parents put me through college by milking cows. I worked on that farm, milking cows and cleaning the cow lots when we were done milking. I did my share of hay hauling in the summer, too. When my parents had their kids raised, my dad bought a Simmental bull and over time turned his Holstein herd into a Simmental herd. He figured out that managing a beef herd was a lot easier than milking cows twice a day, seven days a week. I've worked with a lot of farmers over my 30-year career as an estate planner, but I'm still in awe of the risk they take, especially the row crop farmers. They put hundreds of thousands of dollars out there in the ground every spring, and that investment is at the mercy of the weather until it's harvested, and then their investment is at the mercy of crop prices. Our farm families don't really look at what they do as just a business. It's a way of life. And most of them want to be sure that the younger generation who wants the opportunity to carry on that tradition has the means to do it. We know how to protect the farm from the estate tax and keep it in the family and protect it for generations. We know how to protect it from divorces and lawsuits. And we've learned ways to be fair to family members who choose to farm and those who don't. Everything we do has to be coordinated with a myriad of government programs, so we have to have some knowledge of how those programs work and especially how to make sure the estate planning we do doesn't create a conflict with the Farm Service Agency programs. That's why we work closely with our ag lawyer colleagues. Farm families are special to us, and we know how special the farm is to you. We know how to protect it for your family for generations to come.